Ten Kekiai Genkai Naruto could benefit most from. Naruto is already one of the strongest ninja out there, but which Kekiai Genkai would suit benefit him? Naruto is one of the most recognizable characters in anime history. And that is because the young ninja went from being an ostracized and hated child to being one of the strongest ninja in history, as well as the hero of the entire world. In the Naruto universe, ninja are capable of using a variety of jutsu, and although most of his jutsu are strong and versatile, Naruto himself would still benefit from having a Kekiai Genkai in his arsenal. A Kekiai Genkai is a genetic anomaly that allows an individual to use very unique techniques, and they are usually passed down through the generations of a specific clan. Every Kekiai Genkai is powerful. But there are only a few that would truly give someone like Naruto a significant edge in battle. 10. The Sharingan has so many powerful abilities to unlock. The ninja world is filled with powerful clans, and thanks to the Sharingan, the Uchiha clan was regarded as one of the strongest for decades. This ocular Kekiai Genkai allows the user to see chakra, while also allowing them to read enemy movements. It can also copy virtually any jutsu. The Sharingan can easily trap people inside of a genjutsu. And if Naruto could awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan, he would unlock even more abilities. Amaterasu, Susanoo, Tsukuyumi, and Izanagi are just some of the powerful abilities that the Sharingan has to offer. 9. The Byakugan's field of vision is extremely valuable. The Byakugan is another ocular Kekiai Genkai, unique to the members of the Hyuga clan. The Byakugan can do things that the Sharingan cannot. As it provides the user with near 360 degree vision, while also allowing them to see through objects. Such vision would give Naruto a nice advantage in battle, especially if he learns to use the gentle fist fighting style that the Hyuga developed. The Byakugan allows the user to see a person's chakra pathway system, and the gentle fist would allow Naruto to block an enemy's chakra flow by hitting their pressure points. 8. Dead Bone Pulse is great for offense defense. Kagaya is arguably the strongest of the Atsutsuki, and it is thanks to her that many of the ninja world's greatest Kekiai Genkai exist. It was the Kagaya clan who inherited her dead bone pulse ability, but it rarely manifested within the actual clan. This Kekiai Genkai allows the user to control and manipulate the cells in their bones, allowing them to produce new bones anywhere on their body. Naruto saw just how useful this ability was when he fought Kimimaro, and if he could use it, he would be able to produce lethal weapons made of bone while also being able to protect himself from taijutsu. 7. Crystal Release can only be countered by lighting fire. Guren is a character who only exists in filler episodes, but she happens to possess a very useful Kekiai Genkai. Crystal Release allows her to convert any form of matter into crystal, including the moisture that can be found in the air. As a result, earth, water, and wood abilities are completely ineffective against it. Naruto could use this to defend against a multitude of jutsu. And although it is weak to lightning and fire release, Naruto can counter them with his wind release and Kurama. He can also use it to imprison an enemy, seeing how living beings get crystallized on a cellular level. 6. Steel release would make his body virtually indestructible. Naruto Shippuden the Will of Fire is one of the franchise's more original movies, and it features a villain who was hunting Kekiai Genkai users. One of the Kekiai Genkai that Hiroko acquired was Steel Release, which allows the user to create steel weapons. Making weapons is useful, but what Naruto would really benefit from is the Kekiai Genkai's ability to turn the user's body into steel. Naruto's body is already pretty durable thanks to Kurama, but steel release would basically make his body indestructible. 5. Swift release would make taijutsu ineffective. 
In most fights, the fastest ninja usually wins, and although Naruto is fast, he is by no means the fastest ninja alive. Swift Release is another nature transformation Kekiai Genkai that was introduced in Naruto Shippuden, The Will of Fire. And it allows the user to move at incredible speeds. The user moves so fast that they are essentially nothing more than a blur, which makes most forms of taijutsu completely ineffective. This would make Naruto almost impossible to hit, as only ninja who can match his speed would be able to land a successful attack. 4. Magnet Release would allow him to create magnetic forces. Magnet Release is a nature transformation Kekiai Genkai which combines wind and earth release, and like the name suggests. It allows the user to create a magnetic force that can be applied to objects and individuals. This Kekiai Genkai is prominent in the sand village, as several Kazakage have been able to use it. This release would allow Naruto to possibly control Iron Sand, which is incredibly powerful, but he could also use it to redirect or manipulate Kanai, Shuriken, or any other ninja tool made with metal. 3. Dark Release can absorb, manipulate release an opponent's chakra. Hiroku acquired several Kekiai Genkai, including Dark Release, which isn't as menacing as it sounds. Dark release appears as two overlapping diamonds on the user's palm. And it allows them to absorb, manipulate, and release chakra taken from their opponent. The chakra is absorbed through the upper diamond, while the lower one manipulates and releases it. Naruto would gain a huge advantage in every battle if he was able to absorb his enemy's chakra, and being able to use their own chakra against them is an amazing bonus. 2. Wood Release is arguably the strongest nature transformation Kekiai Genkai. The first Hokage is regarded as a ninja god, and the main reason for this is because he possessed Wood Release. Arguably the strongest Kekiai Genkai in the series. This release combines earth and water, and it allows the user to create entire forests, but it can do so much more. Naruto can use it to create very detailed and ornate structures including restraints. It can also be used to manipulate, suppress, and absorb an individual's chakra, which would allow Naruto to completely suppress and control a tailed beast if one ever went on a rampage. 1. The Rinnegan would basically turn him into a god. Very few powers are strong enough to stand up to the Rinnegan's power, and that is because it is the strongest of the ocular Kekiai Genkai. Someone who possesses this eye is considered to be a god, which makes sense since the user can rip out a person's soul and revive the dead. If Naruto had the Rinnegan, he would be able to augment his body with mechanized armor and weaponry. Absorb any ninjutsu that is used against him and summon a variety of large animals and creatures. Thanks to the Deva path, it's also possible to manipulate repulsive and attractive forces. He could even create shadows in Limbo, an invisible world that coexists with the real world. 